Welcome to Skyt Road where we bring you the most detailed reviews of iconic vehicles from land to air. Today we take a journey back in time to explore the legendary 1903 Wright Flyer the aircraft that changed the course of human history. This was the very first powered flight machine successfully built and flown by the Wright brothers Orville and Wilbur in Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. It was a pioneering achievement that paved the way for modern aviation. The Wright Flyer was a biplane featuring a wooden frame covered with fabric and powered by a lightweight four-cylinder engine. This engine generated just 12 horsepower which might seem minuscule compared to today's aviation standards but at the time it was a groundbreaking development. The aircraft had a wingspan of just over 40 feet and a length of around 21 feet. Its total weight was approximately 600 pounds which was quite light allowing it to become airborne with ease. The construction was done using spruce wooden muslin fabric materials chosen specifically for their lightweight properties. One of the most fascinating aspects of the Wright Flyer was its control system. Instead of conventional ailerons which are now used in modern aircraft the Flyer used a system called wing warping. This method involved twisting the wings to achieve lateral control allowing the pilot to turn the aircraft. The rudder at the back of the aircraft was also connected to this system helping maintain stability during flight. This was an innovative solution for that time since there was no previous model for a powered flight control. The Wright brothers designed the aircraft with a forward elevator also known as a canard. This was placed at the front of the aircraft and was used for pitch control. This feature helped the pilot control the ascent and descent of the flyer. Unlike modern aircraft where the elevator is positioned at the tail this forward placement was a unique characteristic of early aircraft designs. The Wright brothers tested various configurations before settling on this layout which they believed offered better control during flight. The 1903 Wright Flyer's first successful flight took place on December 17, 1903. Orville Wright was the first to take off achieving a flight of 12 seconds covering a distance of 120 feet. Wilbur then followed with a slightly longer flight. Later that same day Wilbur piloted an aircraft for 59 seconds covering a distance of 852 feet. This marked the beginning of powered flight and demonstrated that controlled human flight was possible. Despite its groundbreaking success the Wright Flyer had some limitations. The aircraft required a strong headwind to take off as its engine was not powerful enough for independent takeoff. This is why the Wright brothers chose Kitty Hawk as their testing location since it offered consistent twins. Additionally the aircraft had no wheels and instead used the launch rail system to lift off. Once in the air maintaining stability was a significant challenge requiring precise control and puts by the pilot. The Wright Flyer was not designed for long-term use. After completing its historic flights it suffered damage and was eventually retired. However its legacy lived on as the Wright brothers continued developing improved models leading to more stable and practical aircraft. The advancements made with the Wright Flyer laid the foundation for the aviation industry that we know today. Modern airplanes still incorporate principles derived from the Wright brothers' pioneering work. When examining the specs and features of the 1903 Wright Flyer it is essential to appreciate its role in aviation history rather than comparing it to modern aircraft. The Flyer was an experimental machine designed to prove the concept of 
powered flight and it succeeded in doing so. Today it is preserved in the Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum where it continues to inspire aviation enthusiasts and engineers worldwide. As we conclude this review of the 1903 Wright Flyer, we invite you to explore more about aviation history and vehicle technology here on Sky2 Road. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more reviews on historical and modern vehicles don't forget to like share and most importantly subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us bring more exciting content covering everything from classic aircraft to the latest automotive innovations. Stay tuned for more and keep your journey moving forward with Sky to Road.